Understanding the idiom, lost to the flame. Hello and welcome. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms, focusing on the expression, lost to the flame. This phrase carries a depth of meaning and is used to convey a specific situation or emotion. Join me as we unfold the layers of this idiom, ensuring you can use it confidently in your conversations. Lost to the flame is not just a literal statement but a rich, metaphorical expression. It's used to describe a situation where someone or something is destroyed, consumed, or irrevocably lost, often due to a powerful force or influence. The flame here symbolizes a destructive element or a situation that one cannot control or recover from. While the exact origins of lost to the flame are not clearly documented, it's believed to stem from the universal human experience with fire. Fire, in literature and life, represents both creation and destruction. This phrase taps into the destructive aspect, portraying the loss or demise of something once it's engulfed in flames, metaphorically speaking. Understanding how to use loss to the flame in context is crucial. It's often applied in a figurative sense to describe 1. Personal loss When someone is overwhelmed by an emotion or situation, like grief or addiction, they might be described as lost to the flame of that experience. 2. Professional setbacks A project or career might be lost to the flame if it fails beyond recovery due to unforeseen circumstances. 3. Historical references this phrase can also describe the destruction of cultural heritage or significant artifacts, symbolizing their irreversible loss. To solidify your understanding, let's see some examples. After the company's major data breach, their reputation was lost to the flame. He was lost to the flame of his own ambition, ignoring all the warning signs. Lost to the flame is a vivid and powerful idiom that encapsulates the idea of complete and often tragic loss. We hope this video has illuminated the meaning and uses of this phrase, enriching your English vocabulary and understanding. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to exploring more intriguing aspects of the English language with you.